Hey everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. One of the things that I love about the day and age in which we live is there's a lot of talk about justice, social justice, things being the way that they ought to be. And I love that we're talking about it so much because our culture has grabbed hold of something that the Bible has always said, is that there is a right way that things ought to be. Now what's interesting in the day and age in which we live, because there's no agreement on how things ought to be, everyone has their own ideas of justice. But you have to realize that God is a God of justice, that God created this world to work together in an extraordinary way, in a perfect way where everything flourishes. That's actually what the Hebrew word shalom, which we get our word peace, it means. It means universal human flourishing. But in every area of life, uh, for individuals, for groups of people, we see that all of it is broken. And I'll be honest with you, that's why I believe in Jesus, because Jesus came into a broken world to unbreak it, to begin to change what has been irreparably broken up until the point before Jesus came. And God has called his people who he has inspired by his Holy Spirit and he has empowered us to be change agents, vehicles for justice seeking in this world. And I would encourage you to find areas of passion where you can be the hands and feet of Jesus seeking justice for groups of people, for individuals who are marginalized. See, no matter where somebody is at, every single person is an image bearer of God. Even though for all of us, because of the warping of sin, that image is a little bit marred. But Jesus came to fix what has been broken. I want you to share this message because we want to make sure Jesus was the ultimate justice seeker. Jesus is the ultimate example of somebody who are setting things that are wrong right. And in the comment section, where are your areas of passion? Share, this is something that I see God stirring a passion in my life for. And I want us to be able to encourage one another to be the hands and feet of Jesus in every area. God bless you today.